Thank you for joining us for devotions today. We continue to study the first article of the Apostles' Creed, which says, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. And so we've been looking at Luther's explanation of the first article of the Creed and peering at the amazing ways at which God, our Heavenly Father, daily and richly provides us with all that we need to support this body and life and how He also defends us against all danger and guards and protects us from all evil. And then Luther goes on to say that All this he does out of fatherly divine goodness and mercy without any merit or worthiness in me. Without any merit or worthiness in me? You could go on YouTube, and I am not advocating for this, but you could go on YouTube and simply type in the word karma, and you would find millions of hours of videos of people getting what the world thinks they deserve. You'll find videos of of people doing something wrong, whether driving erratically and then receiving what the world might deem as a just punishment by wrecking their own car. And you can watch millions of hours of this and, and it's because there seems to be some satisfaction and making ourselves the judge and, and making sure that, that every single person gets their just punishment for the mistakes that they have made. But Luther points out to us that that word karma, that word retribution, should not be something that is on the tip of any Christian's tongue. Because we recognize that we ourselves are on the receiving end of an overwhelming abundance of grace. We have a Heavenly Father that has given given us clothing and shoes, food and drink, house and home, wife and children, land, animals, and all that we have. And he, He defends us against all danger and guards and protects us from all evil. And He does all this out of fatherly divine goodness and mercy. He does this because he's our dad. He does this because he wants to. The book of James chapter 1, I think, says it really well. Every good and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. God is a God of mercy, a God of abundant grace, pouring out on His children the gifts that they do not deserve. And for that, we are overwhelmingly grateful. We respond. And so we're going to talk the next few days about how we respond to all these gifts that we have received from our Heavenly Father. I would invite you to close in prayer with me, uh, and I will uh, pray uh, for us using the words from the hymn, Now Thank We All Our God. Please pray with me. Now thank we all our God, with hearts and hands and voices, who wondrous things has done, in whom his world rejoices, who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love, and still is ours today. O oh, may we, this bounteous God, through all our life be near us, with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us, and keep us in His grace, and guide us when perplexed, and free us from all ills, and this world and the next. Amen.